keeping up. Bye, Dad. I'll call you later. Ashley! With Solar System Odyssey, it's difficult to say how long it took to do the sound because I'm, I was doing the sound during animatics and then, you know, during previs and then during final production and then a, a lot more at the end. So during the final weeks of production, I'm probably working on it full time for about three weeks. There are 33 tracks of audio and that's without music. There's probably a thousand clips of audio in there. I'm guessing. There could be more than that. Well, when I'm creating sound effects, I'm editing it in Final Cut Pro or Soundtrack or Logic, and that's how I sort of combine all the sound effects. But if I'm recording sound effects, then I, I use a digital recorder and find anything that could, could make an interesting sound. Bring up the eco presentation. Which one? Global Disasters 3 or... Never mind. I'll do it. Leave us. <sighs> nice to meet you. To find the, the voices for the Good characters, luck. first we looked at short bios of the characters, which tell overall who they are, and um, get a sense of the character, and then think of maybe some actors that have that sound that we're looking for. For some of the minor uh, voices in the show, we used people from Moorhead. So uh, Jonathan Frederick, who's actually in the office next to me, he did the voice for uh, the Capcom. All set, Commander. Good to go and cool as a cucumber. Roger that. We have uh, another character who's the only non-human character in the show, and that's Beamer. He, he has a sort of a voice. It's more of like a Beamer. <laughs> What the heck is that? Duh. It's a BMR 12,000 interface unit. You can understand that he's saying something that has to do with the topic, but you don't have any idea what he's exactly saying. One of the animators, Jim Cacklerese, we recorded him doing, doing a voice that kind of sounds like a robot, and um, we put some effects on it and then um, used that as, as Beamer's voice. Please, 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 please! The sound design is, um, basically taking all the voices that have been recorded, the sound effects and the music, and then laying those together. Yes! I love doing it. I mean, it's it's fun. I'm kind of an editor at heart and I love music, so doing the sound part of this is just a lot of fun for me.